The baby's grandmother looked at him and said he wasn't her grandson, that her daughter-in-law was worthless and that she was sure he wasn't her son. The child was crying and the grandmother was screaming that it was not her grandson. When he went to throw him on the couch, the mother appeared. She took her baby and said she was crazy and that she couldn't do that. The grandmother said that she had to tell the truth to her son because he was not her grandson. The note replied that it was yes, and that indeed she should accept it. Beth said that she would expose her daughter-in-law to everyone. Carla's husband came and said what was going on with all this screaming? The wife said that his mother wanted to kill her son. Beth said son, stop it. Speak the truth he is not his son. Fabio said why was he saying that? The mother replies that it was true. He was not his son. The daughter-in-law called the mother-in-law crazy. And she said his mother couldn't stay in the house with them. For she could do some harm to the child. The mother left the baby on the couch and suddenly the mother-in-law arrives and tries to put the pillow on him. Carla calls her friend and asks if she had told her mother-in-law. Anna replies no. That was their secret. That he would never say anything because he could also be harmed. Carla said she was crazy at home. And that she could have opened her mouth. She swore no. And that she did everything they agreed to make sure nothing happened. Because if this story is leaking, it was at her house. Because it could be that Carla is wavering. Carla said she didn't open her mouth that the two could meet. Anna said yes more than any service you do will have to be paid double. Carla agreed. And the two hung up. Her husband arrives and asks to speak with her. The wife says she is very upset with her mother-in-law. He tells her to take it easy because his mother wasn't right in the head. That she had a problem and was going to take her to a doctor. To see what was happening to her. To find a treatment for her. Wife says she tried to smother the child again. She said she would go for a walk and after an hour she would come back. He said okay. The two met. And Carla says that at last Anna has arrived. Anna said what she wanted to talk to her. Carla said she had to get rid of her mother-in-law. Which was unbearable. Anna asked if she was sure. Carla says yes. So Anna had her methods to solve everything. But it would be costly. Carla said she had no problem. And that would have to be in secrecy. And that she doesn't know how she found out what happened. But that had to disappear with her. Anna said she was secretive and smart. Even because changing the children in the maternity ward. Had to be very discreet. Carla said that I'm glad she had time. Because she would not have a disabled baby. Anna said that the service would be expensive and that she would send the value per picks. That after payment she would do the job.
When she arrived she found the mother-in-law trying again to hurt the child. He took her out of there and told her she would regret it. The mother-in-law asked her to tell the truth that she changed the baby in the maternity ward. The daughter-in-law kicked her out, saying she had lost her mind. The mother-in-law said she would call the police because her place was in jail. Carla called telling Anna that her mother-in-law had left. And she hoped that everything would work out. And may she do the job right. When Beth was walking down the street, Anna showed up with an injection to dope her up. Beth begins to weaken and passes out. Carla's husband arrives and asks if everything was okay. She said that his mother tried to end the baby again. The desperate father asks if something happened to the child? We have to take him to the doctor. Carla said it arrived on time. And the father asked where is his mother? She said Beth said she hated them and ran away. Where did she run? He said he would go after his mother. He received a call from the hospital about his mother. And that he would run there to see what happened. He thanked the guy who called. He explained that they found his mother on the floor. And that she almost died because she had been attacked. They poisoned her, but we managed to give her an antidote so she wouldn't die. The cop had gotten there and found her on the floor. Immediately took her to the hospital. Her son asked who did this? The mother replied that it was his wife who tried to kill him there. The daughter-in-law said she was crazy and they had to admit her. Beth said that she would tell her son everything. If the policeman hadn't arrived in time she would have left. When she was going to apply the syringe the police arrived and saved her. And she said the girl who tried to hurt her was hired by his wife. He was mad because she switched their son and tried to break up his mother. She denied everything. But the hired girl showed up stuck with the cop and told her the truth that D then finished the mother-in-law and also changed the children.
His wife said she had one more dish to admit. Beth told her son the whole truth. He broke up with her. And he said he never expected her to do that. And he said she would have to be arrested. The girl told her that if one fell the other would too. The doctor said the baby's test was negative. The father had understood everything. That his wife switched the child with the nurse because their child was born handicapped. And the baby ended up with another family. And this child is not theirs. And yet the mother said that he even tried to murder his mother. The father said that she would pay.